Okay, we're going to have a look at potential difference in parallel circuits. Uh, this is a parallel circuit with two branches, a branch with one bulb and a branch with two bulbs. And you'll see that there's also a couple of voltmeters attached in this circuit. A voltmeter measuring the potential difference across the middle branch and another one measuring the potential potential difference across the lower branch. Now to work out what's going on here with the potential differences um, we need to have a look at, at the current that flows in the circuit. So the current consists of electrons. Those electrons flow around the circuit and they can either go through the middle branch or they can go through the lower branch of that parallel circuit but they only go through one or the other so they pass through the cells then they either go through the middle branch and return to the cells or they go through the lower branch and return to the cells now we can use um, ideas about energy to work out what's going on with a potential difference now the potential difference uh, tells you how much energy is transferred to or from one coulomb of charge at that point in the circuit okay now one coulomb of charge isn't the same as one electron uh, electrons have got a tiny charge you'd actually need a huge vast number of electrons to make up one coulomb so let's pretend that this is a coulomb of charge now uh, apparently these cells uh, have a potential difference of four volts in total so as a coulomb of charge passes through the cells it gains four joules of energy because the potential difference is the energy transferred to or from one coulomb so they gain four joules of energy now if they go through the middle branch they've only got one place to give that energy up that's at the bulb so the bulb is going to get four joules of energy then as the charge goes back through the cells it gains four joules of energy so it's got another four joules of energy to give up so if four joules of energy is given up in this branch the potential difference across that branch is four volts now how about this branch currently the coulomb of charge has, has got four joules of energy well when it goes through this branch the only things it's got to give energy to are those bulbs so it must give four joules of energy to those bulbs if it gives four joules of energy to the bulbs then the potential difference across that whole branch must be four volts then it goes back to the cells gets some more energy the electrons can then go through this branch again giving all their energy to that branch get some more energy they can then flow through the bottom branch maybe and give all their energy to that branch but no matter what branch the electrons go through they always end up giving all their energy to that branch so the potential difference across each branch in a parallel circuit is always the same as the potential difference of the supply we can have, add another branch into this circuit and if current flowed through that branch of the circuit all the energy would be given up within that branch before the electrons then return to the cells so the potential difference across each branch in a parallel circuit is the same and the reason is that all the energy is given up within that branch now you might be wondering okay how is the energy divided in this branch here because there's four joules of energy to be divided between two bulbs well that is the subject of another video on potential difference uh, across components in series so have a look at that if you're wondering what would be going on in this branch